everyone, welcome back to Jax's Lego Stacks and Hacks. Today, I'll be showing you a mock I've been working on. So, yes, I know I haven't posted a video in a long time. Well, it wasn't that long of a time, but I haven't posted a video in a long time. That's because I've been working on this and looking for more pieces online because actually I only could finish two parts of it. You can probably see some shadows of minifigures in there. Yep, you can. Um, but... Yeah, I've been working on this for a while, and I ran out of tan bricks because I'm using, I use 16 by 16 base plates with a lot of extra 6 by 16 base plate, or no, not 6 by 16, I used a couple of like 6 by 12, I think. Yeah, that's what I think. I have some greenery down here, some grass, I was hoping I had that like, new, that, they use it in like the privet drive in the burrow. I was hoping I had that piece. I actually took a hidden side apart to get Ravenclaw dormitories because I'm making the dormitories on the side over here. On each side, girls left, boys right, because I'm pretty sure that's what they say in the Philosopher's Stone. I'll have to rewatch it. But yeah, so let's get into the video. This is a very interesting mock. So. Yes, I know, most of you will be saying, it doesn't look that much like a Hogwarts Jackson. I know, and was going for more of like a, just Hogwartsy look, instead of like Hogwarts, in general. But, so before I start the video, I have a question for you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments, if you can comment. I don't know if they're turned off, but if they're not, then comment this. Would you like me to not buy any sets, just have some cool reviews of stuff I built and some updates on Lego and stuff and get, when I have enough money from saving, get the Diagon Alley set for $400 with 14 minifigures plus an extra that I spoiled for myself, but that, or should I get a bunch of just normal sets like the Great Hall, the Burrow, Four Parent Drive, all that kind of stuff? Well, like, I would... This is the thing. If I got that, Diagon Alley wouldn't be for another year. If I got Diagon Alley, all that 2018 stuff, I wouldn't get it all for Christmas. But, like, I had to get some of it for Christmas and stuff. And I probably would just still buy some that are, I'm not, because I'm not going to get a thousand stuff. But, obviously, after Christmas, I'll be up with a lot of sets in upcoming. And also, yes, this is a thing I've been thinking about. Instead of the Diagon Alley, should I, the, um, Series 2 minifigures, like, the whole box? Well, I mean, it's kind of a waste. It's so annoying how expensive they are. <sighs> yeah. But still, so tell me what you guys think, and now we're going to actually start so, the video. guys, let's look at the outside first. We have a bunch of tan bricks just piling up. Some brick pieces over here and everywhere. Over here, so I'm going to show you my ideas first. Right here is where I'm actually buying windows, like, the windows, like, the, in the Great Hole set in the Hogwarts, or not the Hogwarts, the Great Hole set and in Hagrid's Hut set, and those little cool window pieces. I was actually getting those, I want to get those, but I can't find them off anyone, so if any of you have, like, spare windows, please sell them on eBay, please, just please, and I can put some cool windows over here for the not for the great hall for the gryffindor common room who i spoiled what it was and you guys are gonna have to guess right now comment down below before i show you guys the inside but you're gonna have to guess what up here is gonna be because it's kind of a guess because i have done hufflepuff slytherin and Gryffindor. Why did I just spoil that to you? 
Well, I've done Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. So if you saw up here, you'll probably know what's in here. I haven't done the wall yet up here, which is why it's kind of a spoiler. If you're trying to peek through that window, I made sure you can't see anything. Haha. <laughs> and if you're looking at the color of the base plate, you probably might know. But, <sighs> so, yeah, I don't think there's much on the outside. There's some doors in there. This might show you a little bit, but no, it actually surprisingly doesn't. But there are some doorways which are going to lead to the common rooms right here. Gryffindor and Mysterious and up here. Um, then over on the other side, it's technically the same thing. Doorways and I had to, as you can see, I ran out of some tan bricks right here and right here. Right here and right here. And um, I just kind of used a 6x6 six six flat, or 6x1, I'm so bad at saying that. 6x1 six flat piece on there, so it's just that piece because I have a thousand of those pieces for some odd reason. And then I have the actual cut out mold of that cool tan piece. And then, yeah, some more tan pieces. And that's pretty much it, except I used, yeah, again, I used some ah, pieces right there that I can angle. I can't, oh, there. And it's on studs again. For some reason, I just test bricks with studs. But, so, on and into the video. Well, no, not into the video. Sorry. On to the interior. Okay, guys, so move that over a bit so that it's kind of even so this is the Gryffindor common room at the bottom um we have some a nice rug I made out of studs just that kind of brownish red color and I also use chairs they're not studs by the way they're just kind of loose in there oopsie they're loose in there Hermione fell over earlier couldn't get her back on because it's kind of hard to poke through in here but yeah and as you can see I didn't really like the interior of all the Hogwarts I got like how I got that the Whomping Willow set I didn't like the interior of it so I just kind of took out first of all the Gryffindor the Gryffindor common room and I actually made one but it's not coming up for a while now because I still need walls or bricks, tan bricks. And over there, you can see where I'm going to put all the windows where this open space is where my hand's behind the building. But, um, so we have the Gryffindor banner that I picked out, the sticker that I picked out from there just sticking on the wall. Then in there, this little piece is like, a f well, it's not a piece, but that's a little fireplace and if i ever not like i'm getting or any of those promises that i lie about sometimes well like i don't mean to lie but you know what i mean any of those i'm not gonna do that today i'm gonna tell you if i ever get the expected paternum set with Sirius black i'll poke his head out of the minifigure and i'll put him in the fireplace and yeah we have just a little table right there that I made. And so, moving on to the next level. Make sure to guess what it is. Pause the video. Comment down below Okay, so can. guys, up there is the Slytherin common room. Let's just zoom in a bit. And so, yeah, you can see Hermione's head popping up, smiling. But, up here. Up here is Slytherin. It has this nice thing I used. Well, thing I made. Rug I made. With some black studs and some green studs. Thin ones. 16 by 16 base plates. So when I get the Draco Malfoy minifigure and yeah, all more Gryffindors and stuff. When I get more Gryffindor robes, I'll probably make more people. And yeah. But, so yes, we use the little pointy bit right there. 
I don't really like the couch in this design, but the Hufflepuff couch, well, no, I like the Hufflepuff chairs, but the Gryffindor couch, honestly, is the best couch I've ever made. But I have a little Slytherin sticker that I put there. It's not the best. I wish you, I had like a banner sticker like down there, but I don't. So yeah, that's sad. It kind of sucks, but um, I just used a barrel and put barrel and put a black two by two stud on there. And yeah, the Slytherin doesn't really have that much. Honestly, my least favorite that I made, but moving on. Oh, I had up. to move up. Sorry if it's a little wobbly. It's because I'm holding it. But I had this cool idea to make a rug in the Hufflepuff with the H because I feel like that's what Hufflepuff would do. Then over here we have the Gryffindor, sorry, the Hufflepuff couch. Um, Hufflepuff seating, more Hufflepuff seating. I think I might just put like a table and maybe some chairs in this instead dead of anything else because I mean that's kind of what I did I just feel like it looks comey and cozy that's one reason I do not like that pointy bit these pointy bits I used that's one reason why I might take it out and I might just make it a flat piece a flat yellow piece without that black because it just looks more homey like the Gryffindor down here just looks so homey and I feel so welcome to it and then the Slytherin I feel like it, Draco's dad just bought all this rich stuff and then up here it's just like it's so cozy so cozy then you see the point so yeah that was kind of all I have for the Hufflepuff pretty soon I'll be doing the Ravenclaw and whenever I get the minifigures which I can't promise will be soon. I will do a video on showing you how I display all my minifigures in their Hogwarts Okay room. guys, well, thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and my your notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you think I should do. Get a bunch of sets before or get the Diagon Alley with all the money I've been saving up on. Tell me soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.